following the teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace. Brother, I would like to ask you a question. Yes. I have a question. There was so much bother about Shia Sunni. Uh -huh. I want to ask you why. So there are so many my friends no, are no. there. Do you want to do you want to join Islam and then you're thinking what to take? So I'm sir, asking you the question. Yeah. Do you want to come to Islam and uh -huh. you're thinking should you join Shia or Sunni? Sir, no, I'm no. There are so many, sir, there are so many religions are there. I mean, in Islam, there are so many sections of religions. There is no there. section in Islam. Uh -huh. Islam, there is only one Muslim. Whoever told, whoever told you, uh -huh. did not tell you what Quran says. I am giving you reference. So the person is told me she, he was a Sunni. He told me that. Let him be Sunni. Let him be Shia. Let him be Bori. Anyone. Uh -huh. Tell him Quran says don't make sex. Chapter number six. Write it down. It means this Chapter is all six. absurd. So it means this is all absurd. He is not following Quran. Quran says today, Anam chapter 6, verse number 150. Note it down. The Dr. Zakir Naik said, Surah Anam chapter 6, verse number 159. That don't make sex. What you have to do is you have to submit your will to God. Now I want to know, brother, do you want to submit your will to God? Brother, uh -huh. do you want to submit your will to God? So I respect Islam, sir. I believe in Islam. No, no, fine. You respect Islam. Do you believe? Do you believe there's one God? Uh -huh. Do you believe there's one God? Yes, sir, I believe in God. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Uh huh. Do you believe that God has got no idols? God has no idol. Do you believe that? I don't know, sir. Do you believe in idol worship? Uh huh. Do you believe in idol worship? Yeah. Idol worship is right or wrong? Means to God. No. Do you believe that worshipping an idol is right or wrong? Yes. It is right or is it wrong? It's right, sir. Doing idol worship. But that's against your Vedas. Your Veda says you should not worship anyone but one God. Uh -huh. Quran, it's mentioned in your Yajur Ved, chapter 32, verse number 3. Sveta Sita Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. Na Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no idol, there is no sculpture, there is no statue. I'm asking you a question. When your Veda says God has got no image, no statue, no idol, do you yet believe in idol worship? Yes, so sir. leave us at Shia Sunni, I am asking you, are you following your Veda? Yes, sir. Are you following or not? Yes, sir. Are you following? So because I am from that religion, sir. Correct. So, so I am talking about... It is not my mistake, sir. I am born in that religion, sir. It is, if you are brought up in that religion, uh -huh. I am asking you, isn't your duty to study? Your That's Veda... I am researching on this subject. Therefore, I am asking you, brother, uh -huh. that in your scripture Veda, uh -huh. Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, Sveta Sveta Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. It says, Na Tasir Patima Asti. It's a Sanskrit quotation, which means, Almighty God has got no Pratima, no image, no photograph, no painting, no sculpture, no idol, no statue. If your scripture says, Almighty God has got no idol, then doing idol worship is right or wrong? Right or wrong? Sir, I don't even know that, sir, because I'm not... Such a big person to decide this that it's a right or wrong. No, but if your scripture is saying God has got no image, no photograph, no idol, no statue, then making a statue of God is right or wrong? Sir, so my, my previous person means my Purvaj has done this, sir. So I cannot blame on them, sir. Sorry? My Purvaj, my previous, the, the Hinduism people has done this, so I cannot blame on those I'm because not I, I don't need people. the truth. I am asking you the question, uh -huh. your scripture, which is the most authentic scripture in your religion? You don't know. Do what, you know? Sir? Which is the highest scripture in your religion? So, it I'm is Vedas. Yeah, Vedas. Therefore, you see my video cassette, similarities between Islam and Hinduism, and I request one of the volunteers to give him my DVD, similarities with Islam and Hinduism. Watch the DVD. If you have queries, you can meet me. And, and inshallah, I'll clarify your doubt, and then I would request you, read that, understand, and find the two piece. Sir, and the last thing I just need to ask you, that it means we have to not believe in this, that there are so many sections of Islam, that Sunni, Shia, we should, not believe, we should only believe in Quran, right? Quran and the authentic sayings of Prophet, that's it. Any scholar says anything. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 159, Atiullah, Atiur Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. And continues, and those who have been given the authority for command, those who have charged with the faith, with the faith. That means you have to follow Allah, Almighty God, His Messenger, and those who are knowledgeable. But the world does not stop there. It says if they differ, 
if the people of knowledge differ, go back to Allah and His Rasul. If someone tells you something, you verify from the Quran and the authentic hadith whether it's right or wrong. Just because any scholar says anything, it carries no weight in Islam. So that Our thing is Allah, Almighty God and the Messenger. If any scholar says something, if it matches with Quran and say hadith, you accept it. If it is against Quran and hadith, you reject it. So Just by person saying he's a Muslim, you have to tell him, pull hatu bunanakum, produce your proof, in kundum sadiqin, but if you're truthful. That's the reason, whenever I give an answer, I give you references from the Quran and say hadith, what I'm saying, what Dr. Zakir Naik says, is zero in Islam. If there is no value. What I say in Islam is zero. Nil. What Quran says, what Almighty God says, what our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, that carries weight. So what I'm giving, I'm giving references. Person who does not know, I'm giving references. My answer is based on this teaching of the Quran, these verses. My answer is based on this teaching of the Prophet, Sahih Bukhari, one number so and so, etc. to give proof. So what they say carries weight, what I say carries no weight. Hope that answers the question. أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ